Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Naturally Nella, and today I'm going to be talking to you about my breastfeeding journey and why I say I hate breastfeeding. <laughs> Here you go. So I really don't even know where to start. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to record this video because... It's not something that I ever talked about. The only person I've ever told, what well, people I've ever told, are my husband and my mother. And I didn't tell anybody because um, I didn't want anyone to judge me, or I didn't, I didn't really even know how to explain it. Sometimes I felt like maybe it was me. I was the problem. I was tripping. So that's why I was kind of hesitant to share. But something happened yesterday. Um, that made me want to share this just in case somebody else is experiencing the same thing and I'll and I'll tell you guys about that um, But let me just start by saying this is my second child um, I have a 10 year old son who I breastfed for a few months and I always I didn't necessarily lie about why I stopped breastfeeding but I never necessarily told the whole truth about why I stopped breastfeeding him at only three months old Um and the reason why is the reason that is what I'm experiencing today. Like I experienced that with him as well. So I breastfed him for three months and now I am currently breastfeeding my second child. Um, And just to address me hating breastfeeding, I do hate it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be completely honest about it. But it's like a love-hate relationship. I love breastfeeding a lot more than I hate it. Only because I know of the benefits of breastfeeding my child and not just the benefits for him, but, you know, it's it's allowed us to bond in more ways than I could have ever imagined. So that's been really good, too. So long story short, the reason why I say I hate breastfeeding is because of this feeling that I experience when I breastfeed. And I want to be sure that I'm picking my words carefully just so you can fully understand what I'm saying. So if I pause or talk really slow, it's because I want to make sure that I'm being thoughtful and intentional about what I'm saying so that my message won't be misconstrued. Um, so basically when I breastfeed, like right before the milk releases, I get like just suddenly I get this feeling of sadness. Like it is such a deep, sadness I can't even explain it like it, it it just happens it happens almost every time I get really sad if I don't get really sad I get really really irritated not with my son but if someone else is around me then that's when I get irritated irritated so usually if I'm by myself it's sadness usually if someone else is around me it's like sudden irritation like if anybody talks if anybody, um, I don't even know, probably just stares at me, I get annoyed. Now, usually I hide my feelings because it's something that is temporary. Like it doesn't last the entire time that I'm breastfeeding. Sometimes it lasts longer than others. But gener generally for me, I say it lasts from maybe two to five minutes or so. But typically by the time I get towards the end of my breastfeeding session, I completely forgot that I even had this feeling. I didn't really, I don't know. I don't, I didn't really know how to take it. So that's why I stopped breastfeeding my first son, to be completely honest. And I was younger at the time. I had him when I was 19 years old. So I wasn't as confident in myself and as outspoken. So, you know, if someone um, was around me, I, or somebody was talking like I don't think I was as I don't know outspoken as I am today to be like can you be quiet or can you get out like now I would say will you please get out or I'll just excuse myself or I'll just tell like my husband my husband knows most of the time to just be quiet but or I'll tell him to like be quiet um but what I do to handle it is most of the time I just go into um a separate room most most of the time his nursery his pacifier fell i have to go wash that off but most of the time i come nurse him in his nursery and if i'm nursing in a public place i am 
covered. Okay. I would have to be covered. I commend moms who like can just outwardly breastfeed um, and expose themselves. I don't think anything is wrong with that. But for me, because of how I feel and just because of personal preferences too, I just wouldn't be able to do it or else I would be so irritated. Um, but yeah. So with my first son, I didn't have the courage to really tell people to like be quiet and find ways to deal with it. So I just stopped breastfeeding him at three months and we switched to formula. Now, I completely forgot that I went through that kind of. And then I was reminded with him that it was definitely something I experienced the first time. So in the hospital, right after he was born, I attempted to, well, I didn't attempt to, I went ahead and breastfed him because I made up my mind that no matter what, I am going to breastfeed him. And my goal is to at least make it to a year. If we go past that, then great. Um, but I tried breastfeeding him or I did breastfeed him and that sadness came over me and I didn't say anything to my husband at the time. <clears throat> I don't think I said anything until like we got discharged and he completely understood. So still, like I said, I've only shared it with those two, my, him and my mom. And I just started to become more curious because this go round, I've made sure that I've educated myself a lot on breastfeeding. So it's been a lot more smooth than the first time. I haven't really had any issues with mastitis. I haven't had any issues with basically much of anything. Like I had a little bit of overproduction in on one breast because uh, I was pumping a lot. And I just, I don't even really pump anymore. That's another story. I'll pump when I start going back to work, but I'm not pumping. I just nurse him on my breast but I don't even know what I was saying anyway I just lost track of what I was saying um oh I was saying that I'm a lot more you know knowledgeable on the topic I have a lactation consultant I'm in a Facebook support group um I make sure I keep in touch with my friends who have been nursing recently and that way I can reach out to them for advice or if I ever feel discouraged or anything like that. Like I made sure that I um, set myself up to be successful in this breastfeeding journey. So I was more curious. Like I didn't just dismiss that weird feeling this time. I decided that I was going to look it up. So I Googled it. I didn't really find anything. I didn't find any helpful information. I came across one forum of one lady who experienced it, but she didn't say the condition. So I was just scrolling through the breastfeeding support group that I'm in on Facebook and someone randomly said, let me get my piece of paper. He's waking up. Someone randomly posted this condition called dysphoric milk ejection reflex. I don't know why, I, I never heard of it, but something just told me to go ahead and look it up because that is probably what you've been experience, experiencing because she said dysphoric milk ejection um, reflex is very real. And if you're experiencing this, uh, she like sent us some support or whatever. She wants to send us some love or support. So then I took it upon myself to Google it and I'm like, oh my God, this is exactly what I have been experiencing. So when I looked it up, there's actually um, a website, like an official website for it. This is the definition I came across. It's characterized by an abrupt dysphoria or negative emotions that occur just before milk release and continues not more than a few minutes. And I was like, oh my God, finally, I found some information on this. Finally, I see other women who are experiencing it because on that thread, several other women had commented that they had never, they either said they had never heard about it and they're going to, you know, do their research, which is great just so they can be knowledgeable on the topic. And then other women are like, oh my God, like I experienced this now. And I just, a lot of them say what I say, they nurse in a quiet room. They say if people are talking, they get really, really agitated. And I was just like, I don't know, even though it doesn't make it go away, I was just grateful to know that I wasn't alone and that I wasn't crazy and that I have something to mention to my doctor or my lactation consultant the next time I see them. I did mention it one time to my doctor and she said, oh, it's probably just the hormones and kind of like dismissed it. Now, don't get me wrong. She's a great doctor, but you have to be, she's a great OB, but you have to be, um, 
aware that people specialize in different things. My doctor is not a lactation consultant. Um, therefore, I need to make sure that I reach out to someone who actually specializes in this, who's a lactation consultant, who has probably heard of this before. But yeah, my doctor said that it's probably just your hormones. And I was just like, okay. But yeah, I came across this thread. So many women are saying they experienced this. And it just gave me a sense of comfort and reassurance that I wasn't a loony. <laughs> That I wasn't a loony because I'm telling y'all I felt a little crazy and now I don't feel like, I mean, I still kind of feel like somebody would judge me because if I explain it to somebody, I feel like they're probably just going to be dismissive or just automatically assume like, oh, you have postpartum depression. I do not have postpartum depression. It only happens when I breastfeed and then when I'm finished or after a few minutes is just gone. I have experienced like the regular baby blues and that's long gone. Like I'm good. I haven't, you know, been super sad or anything. So that's why I was hesitant to even share it because people are always quick to assume that, oh, just because you had a baby, you're depressed, you're experiencing postpartum depression, you're going to hurt your child. I've never had any thoughts of hurting my child, myself. Um, I've never had the thought of hurting another person human being out of being sad or frustrated or whatever now like when I get agitated with that feeling from breastfeeding I do if you're right next to me I probably will just look I might just have to pop you real quick no I'm just kidding but I do get that feeling like you back up off me fam like I'm gonna put hands on you if you don't back up off me but other than that I really am fine and I am not depressed I do not have postpartum depression. Um, but really, I just wanted to share this with you guys just in case there's someone out here who's experiencing this. Um, if you, for me, it's not something that's severe. I've seen some women in that on that thread that said it is severe and they actually started medication. It's not severe enough for me to feel like, oh, I need some medication. However, I am gonna mention it again to my doctor, to my OB, as well as my lactation consultant. Um, just so that they'll be aware and maybe they can give me some advice or, you know, just some guidance on what I can do to combat the feeling. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you know, this is helpful or if it's not something that you've ever experienced, at least you're knowledgeable on what it is. I'm not like diagnosing myself. What well, kind of, I am low key diagnosing myself, um, even though I'm not supposed to, but I'm like, this is what I have period. Like when I read through that website, it, it it's what I had down to the T and I'm just glad that I'm not alone in feeling like this. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I wanted to share. And that's why I hate breastfeeding. But like I said, I love it. Absolutely love it more than I hate it. Right, JJ? We love it more than we hate it. This is his morning phase, so don't judge him. We love it more than we hate it. Um, But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I have been enjoying putting out like motherhood slash baby content. I hope that you guys have been enjoying it too. If you want to see more, just let me know what you want to see in the comments. Um, and I'll work on some of them if it's something that I'm interested in doing, or I'll just think of some other videos that I can put out for you guys. That's baby slash motherhood related. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will have more videos coming for you soon.